Feingold is trying very hard to convince voters that you are extreme. Mm -hmm. uh, what does that allegation mean to you? And tell us briefly what separates you from your Democratic opponent. Well, for, for, first of all, it's it's a baseless charge. I mean, if, if you mean by extreme somebody who, as, as a kid, worked, I mean, I, I mowed lawns, I shoveled snow, I caddied, I had a paper route. Uh, both my parents uh, grew up on farms. All my aunts and uncles were farmers. Uh, summertime, I'd go down there. I, I milked cows. I did chores. I baled hay. Uh, I actually left high school a year early. I got accepted at the University of Minnesota. So I could, and I started University of Minnesota a year early out of high school. So I never went to my senior year. But I did that so I could work full time. I worked full time virtually the entire time I was going to school. Got an accounting degree. And then I continued. I got a job at Johnson's as an accountant. And I continued my, my studies through an MBA program, still working full time. Never got the MBA because then I was able to come over to Oshkosh here and start a business. Now, when we started that business, I built the business. It's, it's an extrusion operation, 24-7. So I ran the equipment. I traded off 12, 13, 14-hour day shifts to learn how to run the material, to train in the operators. You know, I kept the books, obviously. I sold the product. I sold the product globally. And so I've been working pretty hard for the last 31 years building a business, providing very secure employment for the people that work with me at Packer. We've been handing out an awful lot of 25-year-plus watches because the people that work at Packer, they are secure jobs, and they've been secure for, for, for that long period. So how that gets painted as an extremist is beyond me. What, what I'm offering, I'm really viewing this candidacy. You know, what this campaign's about is kind of like a job interview. And of course, I, I've interviewed a lot of people over my life, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking to find out what's the person's history, what is their character, what's their experience level, what have they done. And that's what I'm offering to the, to the voters of Wisconsin. Here I am. This is my background. This is my history. This is what I've been doing, you know, contributing to the private sector for 31 years. And I'm happy to have the voters of Wisconsin decide, is somebody like that at this moment in time? What, what I would consider the vision of the Founding Fathers, somebody who's had a full career, has raised a family, it was manufactured products, exported the products, created secure jobs. Some of that level of experience, take that experience to Washington and apply that lifetime of experience to the problems that face our nation. And the problems that face our nation are severe. And you ask me the difference? That's what I am. Senator Feingold has been operating in, in the public sector now as a career politician for almost 30 years. I mean, I would argue the career politicians have, obviously, they've created this mess. They've been in charge. I, for one, do not trust the career politicians there to fix it. How about either party? Well, cer cer certainly, certainly there's a big difference in the parties. Now, have, have the Republicans always been, uh, you know, peers of driven snow? Absolutely not. Now, they went off the rails in terms of spending and, and deficit spending back in, back in you know, two, the 2000s with Tom DeLay era. I didn't like that any more than, uh, than anybody else did. But in general, the philosophy of the parties is, is totally different. And uh, so I, that's, that's why I'm offering the voters of Wisconsin. That, I think, a pretty clear difference. Somebody with 31 years in the private sector versus a 30-year career politician that I would argue has been part of the problem not part of the, and will not be part of the solution.